they get left behind as far as information that I think should be available to them. For years, Dago Benavidez has been supporting families. My scrapbook from when I was with Casa. Now, an avid oil painter, the retired court-appointed special advocate wanted to help young minds process the past year. I wanted it to be, make it easy for them to understand that this times that we're living in, that, you know, they're going to pass too. But in the book, what I wanted to do is that we all kind of experience feelings of loss. For kids dealing with the loss of routine, a family member, or even a pet, Dago wrote and illustrated the book, Rusty and Me. I had always wanted a puppy of my own. Siempre había querido un cachorro. Written in both English and Spanish, it helps kids of different backgrounds navigate the five stages of grief. O las cinco estapas del duelo. There's even space for them to express and process their feelings on these blank pages. And that's what I'm trying to do with this little guy. You know, just help him see that it's not unusual for that, for the grief. Allowing and teaching kids um, what their feelings are and why they're there, I think is a, is a big step in helping kids deal with that grief. Because very often I've had kids in class who are overwhelmed by huge emotions and they legitimately don't know how to manage those. Julie Harris is an English teacher in the Salem-Kaiser School District. She helped Dago with revisions. The better they can know and understand what's going on with them, the better they can deal with it. So it's a good resource. Through the hard stuff, the book does have a happy ending. Dago hopes closing the book on 2020 will help kids and even adults turn their own pages to brighter days. And that's, that's what it's about, you know, try to do something positive, something good. In Salem, John Goodwin, KGW News.